Good evening. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. And after a long day working at home and doing many things, I feel, you know, that's grace of God. A day when, you know, you see God has been leading you. And that's not mean that it's no problems. <laughs> it's no difficulties. It's no bad news. It's not that. It's that you feel that the Lord is with you. That's the difference. No, the blessing of God is not that it's no any problem. No, the blessing of God is that he is with us in the problem. So I am so glad that he is with us. So that's even if we, we, you know, it's Friday, it's a good day. You have been working all week. Let's rest in, in his presence. Let's him to bless in us. So let's start today and, and asking him to be with us in, in his presence and, and, and dedicated a moment to him. Oh God, may may speak to say us. O oh Lord, may has to help us. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplication. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter no into judgment with your servant, for in your sight should no one living be justified. My spirit fades with me. My heart within me is desolated. I stretch out my hand to you. My soul caps for you lie dirty land. O Lord, may haste to answer me. My spirit fail me. Hide me not for your faith from me. Lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear your loving kindness in the morning. For in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in. For I leave out my soul to you. Teach me to do what please you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on level paths. Revive me, O oh Lord, for you namesake, for your righteousness sake, bring me out of trouble. As beautiful prayer. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer, reach before you, O God, so may your, may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our heart and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Let's pray that prayer now with all our heart. Forsake me, no, O oh Lord. Be no far from me, O oh my God. Forsake me, no, Lord. Be no far from me, O oh my God. May hate to help me, O oh Lord of my salvation. Be no far from me, O oh my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me, no, Lord. Be not far from me, oh my God. Amen. <clears throat> Our reading today is Psalm 137. And I love the psalm. Today we're going to read two psalms. And that's where one is very a special psalm. And Maybe later, other day, I, I want to talk to you about that psalm more deeply because it's really very close to my heart. And when I read the psalm, always remember personal thing that I think will be good to share it with you. But today I want to read it. And, and it's, a special, it's a special psalm. One, psalm 137. There we sat down and cried by the river of Babylon. As we remember Zion, on the willow there, we hug our harp. For it was there that our captors asked us from son and our tortures demanding joy from us. 
sin as one of the song about Zion. How are we to sing the song of the Lord on foreign soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand cease to function. May my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth. If I don't remember you, if I don't consider Jerusalem to be more important than my highest joy, remember the day of Jerusalem for Lord because of the Edomite who keeps saying, tear it down, tear it right down to its foundation. Daughter of Babylon, you the bastard, how blessed will be the one who paid you back for what you had done to us. How blessed will be the one who seizes you young children and pulverize them again the clay. It's a very strong song, but I want one of that evening to share with you about that song. I have something to say about that. So you, when you're reading again, you understand a little bit where that's coming from. That song is when Israel was taken to Babylon to be a slave. And then was sad, very sad. So it's a very hard, but through history, any conflict and internal political difference has been characterized by extremely cruelty at the Babylon as the Bible indicating us here. In Segudos King, a, a chapter eight, you find that in Oseas chapter 10, and here the Psalm talking about that moment of, of horrible. This Psalm show us that the Israel has experienced the defeat, you know, then was defeat for the Babylonian and the destruction at the sides at the hand of the Babylon empire. This is one of the only psalm that was clearly writing during the side time, yeah? So what you can feel the pain, you know? Then was a great musician, everybody knew that. And, and the, the, the people was asking and singing, singing. And then say, you know, they was so deeply sad. It's a very sad song, but has a beautiful history behind. And I want to share it with you all the day. My reflection today is in Psalm 1, yeah? And I know it's, it's a, we, we read the Psalm a lot. And I went to sharing with you something today before the ending of the, the, this week. And I'm going to read the Psalm as well. Psalm number one. How blessed is the person who does not take in the advice of the wicked, who does not it, who doesn't not stand on the path of the winner and who doesn't not sit in the seat of the monk, but the delight in the Lord instruction and meditate in his instruction day and night. He will be like the tree planted by a stream water, yielded in the fruit in the season, and who lives doesn't know whether. He will prosper in every he does. But this is not the case with the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blow away. Therefore, the wicked will not escape judgment, nor will be seen or have a place in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will be destroyed. I have grown to love this psalm, and I have been meditating the psalm so many times. And for today, I was I want to talk about that. This, the the writer reflects on two different approach to life here. So one way is to delight in the love of God, and is when you delight in the love of God, it lead us to a good season. You know, in good season, season, in season and out of the seasons, we had the blessing of God when we delight, when we enjoy the word of God. The other way is the character, you know, show the character of the people that rejecting God's law and 
done accepting the love of God. And, and that's way lead into destruction. I often thinking on this psalm and wonder which approach I am taking. It may be very personal, but I want to share it with you that because it, it's good to be in what God is talking to you. I would like to believe that I delight in God's law. I want to believe that. I want to believe that I delight in that. But do I really? That is my big reflection. But do I really? It is the way of God a delighting to me. Does falling God low bring me to place of delight or pleasure? I hate to admit, many times it does not. Many times. And instead, I want to go to my own way. Because deep down, I believe that my way is the best way. <laughs> I know you understand. Some of you understand me. Yeah? See, I, I know God wants that, but inside me, I say, hmm. I say, you know, deep down, uh, maybe my way will be good. I believe that even though the evidence show I am wrong. I think that song remind me that delighted, you know, and living out God law lead my life, you know, to neglecting, neglecting my life. And 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 doing things that is totally wrong. Perhaps even rejecting God's law will be eventually lead me to places where I don't want to be. You know, when I, I, I reject in the word of God, when I reject in his law, when I reject in where he is, that will be lead me to places when I don't want to be. I continue to forget that work on, on, on ways of my own creation will be wrong. I, I, I continue to forget that, that the best way is to be in what God called me to do. And, and that's what the God is delighted when we choose the right thing, when we, we see, say, no, that's it, the way, that's the way that God is showing me. When it began the first thing in my life, I recognize that many times I have been that, you know, be in the right way, but not always. And we need to remember that all the time that to be in the way, delighted in the way of God is what bring us prosperity. When we delight, delight in in the in the light in the, you know in 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 the in the war of God in the love of God, so is when we're going to be planted by a stream water. Yeah, when we're going to be alive all the time in season, we're going to have fruit. It's a new season now, isn't it? It's one of my favorite season. And, and, and it's a new new light, a new colors. And that is the way that God wants us, that we live season and different season alive. And I love what he say. He say, when you follow my law, when you follow my way, he will prosper us in everything we do. He will prosper in everything he does. The word of God say everything that we 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 planning to do, we're going to be prosper if we follow the law of God. That is my reflection for today. And we're going to pray today and asking the Lord to be with us and reflecting in what He wants for us. And maybe to take it as word. And say, Lord, I am following you way. I am following what you're asking me to do. So let's pray and, and follow. We're going to, to sing that song about, you know, we are no longer a slave. We are no longer a slave. We are, we are free. Dear God, thank you for your amazing power and work. 
in our life. Thank you for your goodness and for your blessing over us. Thank you that you are able to bring hope through even the hardest time, stretching us from lower our moment of difficulty. Thank you for your great love to us, Lord. And I want to ask you that you lead us in your way. Lead us, Lord, to know the way that you are showing us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We, we want to sing in. We want to worship you. We want to delight, delight in your way, in your word, and who you are for us. Renew our spirit. Fill us with your peace and joy. We love you and we need you, Lord, this day and every day. We give you praise and thank you. We give you praise and thank you for you alone are worthy. Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for that afternoon. Thank you for that evening. Thank you for the night that is coming. Thank you because you are with us. In Jesus name, we pray. We continue worshiping God with that son, no longer a slave. We are free, we are free to follow you, Lord. You unravel me with a melody You surround me with a song Of deliverance from my enemies Till all my fears have come
Let us pray our Lord prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, giving us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Send be to God. It's so amazing and so important that we check our life and asking us if the way of God is related to us. If we are really enjoy him and follow him because if we follow him so we will be prosper in everything god bless you see you next week <laughs>